Hey, how you doing? Justin here. I'm here today with my buddy Cookie, the road rat, and he's just written a great book uh, called Road Rat Tips. And so we thought we'd bring you our top 10 tips for surviving on the road as a gig and musician. So the first one is... Gaffer tape. It fixes absolutely everything. Always carry gaffer tape with you and you can't go far wrong. See, this is, it is absolutely an essential thing. Really, really good, especially for tip number two, quiet when it's not your turn to play. And uh, so it's really important when you're at sound check that you be quiet and let the rest of the band do their stuff because when the front of house guy is trying to check each of the individual instruments in the band and he's trying to get the kick drum or the keyboard, he does not want to hear you whittling whatever guitar song it is that you've been learning. So always remember that you absolutely must stay quiet when it's not your turn to speak. Mm. And now mm. it's tip number three, oh. which is... <laughs> Travel insurance. It's really important when you go away, if you're going abroad in particular, that you have some kind of travel insurance. It's going to get you home if you get into an accident or get ill on the road, because if you don't have it, you're in trouble. Absolutely essential thing. Okay, number four, uh, getting your guitar on the plane sometimes can be a bit of a problem. And uh, generally, you want to try and get it on the plane rather than put it in the hold if you can. So one of the tricks that you might want to try is using a gig bag and making sure that your gig bag has a black strap and wear a black top. So that way when you're talking to the chick when it's at check-in time, you've got your, the black strap is just coming over one shoulder and hopefully the guitar would be kind of hidden, make sure it's low enough that it's not like poking up here. Just, it's not really kind of naughty, you just don't want to maybe mention it and bring attention to the <laughs> fact that you've got a guitar. Um, I think you mentioned in your book actually that it's very rare that the hostess will take your guitar off you and put it in your hold. It's That's nearly right. always at the check-in point, right? So if you can get through that and get to the plane through security and all of that, you're probably going to get your guitar on. So that's a little trick for that. Uh, number five. Number five, yeah. Always keep your instrument where you can see it. If you're on a train and you've got, you put it in the luggage rack, make sure it's in the luggage rack where you can see it. And if you're going to sleep on the train, take it out of the luggage rack, put it on the floor with the strap wrapped around your ankle. Good trick, good trick. I would have thought sleep on it, but that's probably not <laughs> always the, the most important or comfortable way around it. Okay, number six is making sure that you have all of the right spares. So for guitar player, it's making sure that you have maybe a spare strap, spare lead, spare pick, spare strings, uh, Probably not a spare amp. Spare guitar if you if you're only carrying one. You know you can run into problems on stage if you break a string or whatever. So uh, I know for Pete's a, a horn player, so it's uh, what reeds and reeds, oil yeah. and yeah stuff. And make sure they're on the stage, not in your case, which might seem only a few paces away, but in the middle mm. of a tune, it's a mile. Yeah. Although on guitar, you're probably going to leave your spare guitar. <laughs> Yeah. No, no, spare guitar would be on stage, actually, but your spare strings probably be at the side of the stage. Um, okay, number seven, we've got uh, credit card. Now, credit card's really, really, really important. Absolutely, yeah. A credit card is a lifeline. And the two things that I still worry about after all these years is, firstly, missing flights, and secondly, getting stranded abroad. If you've got a credit card, you'll always be able to get home, and you'll always be able to get out to the gig if you miss your outward flight. Absolutely. Now I go one step further when I travel and I carry multiple spare credit cards. So I've got one in my wallet, but I also carry one in my main luggage and one in my little personal luggage bag as well. Because you just, it's always useful to have that extra one kicking around because you never know when you, it doesn't cost anything to have it, you know, and you can hide it away. So uh, number eight, when you check in at a hotel, take a business card of the hotel which has the address and phone number on it. Um, I was just regaling to uh, Pete the story uh, when I was in Marrakesh and I went out with my missus for a few drinks in the main square and we decided we want to go back and we didn't know the name of the hotel or the address or the phone number or anything to do with it and it took ages, thank God for iPhone and internet connection that we managed to actually find the place again. Uh, so really good tip, especially if you're going to go out for some bevies and you're in a funny place, get that business card, whack it in your pocket or your wallet and hang on to it. So. Number nine. Number nine, passport. It's a really valuable document, both to you and to villains. So you keep that passport with you wherever you go. I actually take mine on stage with me in my hip pocket. And when I'm not on stage, it goes in a, a bum bag or something like that. Uh, the one place I don't leave it is in the safe in the hotel room because I don't think hotel room safes are actually safe. I actually gaffer tape mine to the underside of the bed. 
Which is a great tip, actually. I never heard of that. I never use the safes either, but I'm always scared of where to put my valuables. I don't think the safes are a good idea either. Okay, and number 10 is avoid dodgy food. And when I say dodgy, I mean street stalls are a bad idea. Definitely seafood like prawns or whatever if it's open air. If you think it even slightly looks dodgy, just stay away from it. Because if you're traveling and you're touring, the gig is the biggest, that's the most important thing. It's the reason that you're there. And you really don't want to end up running off halfway through the stage because you ate some dodgy sandwich or whatever. So just be hyper aware of, of what you're putting in your face, you know. Any particular foods that you think are nasty ones? Well, I seafood in hot places in particular. Uh -huh. And um, I can remember once one of my colleagues had to run off the stage in the middle of a song. And when we were at the hotel eating, three of the guys who'd eaten this spicy seafood soup, they all said how marvellous it was when they were eating mm. it. But it only takes one bad clam, so... All of these tips and a whole lot more you're going to find in Pete Cook's book, The Road Rat's Tips. That's him. That's the road rat. <laughs> and uh, it's available from all leading bookstores. It's available on Amazon. <laughs> it's on Amazon. So go and check it out. Uh, and we'll see you for more stupidness another time. <laughs>